Well, welcome to Max's Garage Mahal. Here we are making some screen print frames. Um, didn't really think I was going to do this right now. However, we've got a couple of people that's been a little impatient and want a shirt. So what we're going to do is make a screen print frame here and try to get the thing squared up, covered up. we got the screen on its way. Hopefully be here shortly. And um, one of the things we did as we cut, we're going to make two frames here. We're going to make two that are going to be, they're going to be 13 and 3 quarter by 12, I think it is inside. So we've got four 15 inch frame, or legs, and we've got four 12 inch legs and then we've cut them all run them through the table saw to make them all same height all the way through and that of course helps you square them up fairly easily and then once we get the things drilled and screwed and glued together let them dry then we'll come back and we'll sand them make sure all the corners and everything are rounded off so that it doesn't rip and tear the screen. So I'm going to go ahead and put together a couple of these and um, we'll see how they look when we get done here as far as without the frame or the screen and we will get back to you here shortly. But really what we're going to do and I'll show you this real quick is we're going to go ahead and drill on center drill these rascals right through here and we're going to drill it through these legs, outer legs, just like this. Let's get them over closer to the edge. And we'll grab a couple of clamps. That way y'all know I'm about halfway, well at least not this stupid, not to clamp them, so I'll be right back. Alright, here we are back. And people ask me all the time, have you ever done that before? Well, no, actually I haven't ever done this particular thing before. I've uh, made them to make signs for magnetic signs and such as that. So, you know, there's always a first time for everything. And, of course, this happens to be the first time for this. So, real quickly, we're going to get on the center here. Because we're only going to put one screw in. Try to hold your drill level. <laughs> and of course when it gets to this joint right here she wants to move so we might want to go ahead and clamp not only that we might want to clamp this red chair so let's go ahead and do that real quick get her where we want her Sort of like that right there. Okay, let's come back over here. See if that'll stay put this time. Alrighty. Now let's extend that drill bit a little bit. And now we're going to go ahead and back in here I know I need to have an overhead camera guys and I don't really have one I know it's in the works I'll have to build that too one of these days soon so bear with me we'll get that done just not going to get it done today but we are going to get this done today and uh, here we go That's done, so do we have any glue? Let's see if we can find some glue. I didn't exactly lay this out and have it ready to go, as you can all see. 
and really didn't have any intentions of making this video today but here we are and we're gonna get this sucker made you can say I don't use this Elmer's glue that wood glue very often either I do have a bunch of more cabinets to have to build so I'll have to be building some of these things for too much longer so let's go ahead and see if this glue will move you don't feel like watching glue move if you do here it is so let's see what happens you know y'all may not uh, live long enough to see that move so why don't I go ahead and skip ahead and get that glue on there and we'll come back hang on just a moment okay so we're going to put a little glue on which we've done line this puppy up I like it when it comes together like this. Mm -hmm. Yes, I do. Let's see now. Oh, that felt good, y'all. Now, we're going to take wet paper towel. We're going to take the excess glue off. As you can see here, there's excess glue, so we're going to get that off. And that joint is complete. Tell you what, let's do here. Let's turn the lights back on. Just in case y'all would like to see. Is that any better? I believe it might be. All right, now, so this time, I'm going to take this puppy, put it right in there. Look at there, square as it can be. That's a pretty good deal, huh? All right, now, here's what we're going to do. I'm going to bring this thing around here like this. Just like that right there. And we're going to clamp it right there. Like that. Just like it. Get it all squared up. Push down against the table. Get this clamp on it right here. Now then, let's change tools. Get the little drill bit in here. Always remember while you're drilling, if you're going through wood and we're just using a plain old metal drill bit, so you want to make sure you keep backing this out so it empties the grooves here. Otherwise, it'll load up and it'll just, uh, it won't drill properly. And it'll shove the other piece of wood away. Once I get this one drilled, I'm going to drill the outside of this piece of wood just a little bit larger so that the threads, the screw threads, and the body of the screw, <laughs> I said I was. Alright, now we're going to do that. Alright. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take one of these number eight by one and five eighths inch Torx head drill screws here and we're going to put it right in that hole. And if you notice how big that is, let me grab another screwdriver here. Normally I would have laid all this out, but you know what? Like I said earlier, I didn't have any plans to do this today, but 
Sometimes you do what you don't have planned. All right. Let's take a look at that and see if we like it. Yeah, I think we're going to like that a lot. Yep, yep, yep. Looks good to me. All right. Let's go ahead and take that back out because we skipped a step, didn't we? Y'all let me forget to put glue in there, and that's okay, cause, and I forgive you for that. But, y'all try to do better in the future if you would. So let's just take that sucker right out of there. Open up the glue. Put a speck right here. See if I can get it where you can see it. That's more than plenty. Because that's still going to run all over the place when we put it back together. So let's just move it around a little bit. And put that screw back in there. Now that that's already been in, we don't have to have the clamps again. So this time, it'll just go right in there all by it to lonesome. There we go. So now, I will, uh, I will get the rest of this built. We'll come back and you can see what the frame's going to look like. But really, all there is to it is we need to put, we need to put this little puppy in here, just like that. And then snug her down. That'll be a frame, and all we have to do then is cover it, which we'll do in the video. So, y'all hang loose. We'll get this done. Be back. Alrighty, so here we are. We're about to put some fabric over this rascal. And that's what we're going to do. Let's see if this nail gun works, this staple gun. Are you on staple gun? Let's see here. Now you should be on. So we're going to start in the middle right here. Whoa, I mean, puppy is on. Then we're going to come over here, directly across from this. We're going to pull that sucker tight. tight as we can without ruining the, the material here. Now then, back over here where you can see. All right, that'll be good and taut. Whoa, that's pretty. Now we're going to pull the bottom up in the center and since we get that up and where we want it we're going to put a staple right there now we want to take the top and pull her up or him whichever you like him or her didn't matter to me so we're going to pull this one up now make it really good and taut Now let's take a look at this. Ooh, look at that. Nice and snug right there. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and work this across the bottom here. From We're going to work it from here. Right there. We're going to go ahead and get it to stay. Go ahead and get this tight. That direction. So we want to be tight here and here. Like that right there. Get all the wrinkles out. I'm going to do the same thing right here. Get all the wrinkles out. Don't y'all wish I knew how to fast forward this? And make it look like a professional is doing this? Oh, I sure wish I knew how. One of these days I'll learn all that and I'll surprise every one of y'all, including me. Ah, that's better. Now then, let's cut a little excess material off here. Make this a little bit easier. And go over here to the old magnet board and get our magnet, our screw 
pliers that's magnetized up there. All right. I'm going to start right about here. Y'all still with me? All right, y'all know what this looked like here in a little bit. And we'll be done and we fold all this fabric up. Get ready to build another one. So we're only gonna build two for the time being. And hopefully that'll be enough for what we're planning for the near future anyway. I mean, let's face it. How many t-shirts and caps and stuff will I ever need? Probably not that many. But it's up to you guys, because the more you ask for, that means the more I'll need to, to make, huh? All right. So, let's lay this fabric right over there for the time being. And looks like that's going to be pretty snug. Now, let's come up here and go ahead and pull this tight. Because it's got to be pretty tight. Good and tight. Good and tight. Okay, just like this. Just lock it right there. Alright, I'm going to turn this off. We'll come back soon as I get the sucker stitched up. Okay, guys. Just one more thing we have to do here. And make sure we cut off all the excess so it's not in the way of clean up and actually putting down your paint. And uh, you screen print paint. I looked at these things out at Hobby Lobby the other day, and these were $29. So I think the shear at Walmart cost like $2. And of course, that's really all you need is a shear uh, curtain and clean up after yourself of course so that's really what that's going to look like get back here and see if I've got it in frame that's what it's going to look like we'll cover this with emulsion and then we'll paint uh, or print out the logos that we're going to use and put them on the emulsion after the emulsion is dried of course and we'll put a really bright light on it 10 or 15 minutes maybe 20 depending on how thick the emulsion is and that'll burn the emulsion everywhere except where the logo's at so then when you get through that you pull the logo off and you wash off any part that's not um, not dried so then you just take this you lay it on a shirt and then put your paint across here at the top take your squeegee and drag it across and there you go you'll have it so that's what I've been up to today that and of course the um, <laughs> I'm admitting to this I'm making me a teleprompter so you'll get to see that as well okay guys um, I don't know if y'all really would like to have seen it to the end but you'll see the t-shirts when I get through so Anyway, I'm gonna make uh, I'm gonna make a Max's Garage Mahal tablet cover and some other things. So uh, we'll let you know what we got when we're through. So appreciate you watching. Y'all come back and see us now. Yeah, Max's Garage Mahal. Be sure and subscribe. Hit that like button and please share. Thank you very much.